Today has been dubbed World Sight Day. It's commemorated annually and held on the second Thursday of October to draw global attention to blindness and vision impairment. In light of this, the University of the West Indies held a one-day public symposium on universal eye health. Members of the public were educated on the various diseases that affect one sight. More from Mahalia Joseph. This is the third year that World Sight Day is being celebrated across the globe. World Sight Day is an important advocacy and communications opportunity for the eye health community. It's also seen as a great time to engage with a wider audience. Dean of the Faculty of Medical Sciences, Professor Terence C. Mungal, says most times people lose their vision due to chronic diseases. About 80% of the world's 45 million blind people are aged over 50. And the distribution is not even. About 80% of blind people live in low-income countries where older people, especially older women, face barriers to getting the necessary health care. He says 32% of blind people in Trinidad and Tobago have lost their vision due to glaucoma, which he says is the largest single cause of blindness in the country. Glaucoma is a condition that causes damage to your eye's optic nerve and gets worse over time. It's often associated with a buildup of pressure inside the eye and tends to be inherited and may not show up until later in life. Principal and Pro-Vice Chancellor Professor Clement Sankat says even before World Sight Day, students enrolled in the optometry program have always offered care to members of the public. That in the training of our students, we provide service to you. I would like, love to see that extended across the schools of the faculty because you are doing what no other faculty in the St. Augustine campus is doing or doing as extensively. This year, the global call to action for World Sight Day is I Care for All. So after the symposium, members of the public received vision screening blood sugar and blood pressure checks. Mahalia Joseph, C News.